the University of Islamia University of Bahawalpur professor. Please unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, you look so cool. So now, uh, be <laughs> before before you start your speech, I would like to introduce yourself. Yes, hello everyone. Professor Mohamed Saftar Bahdi is an ELT expert, expert with 28 years IELTS and TFL teaching and training experience. He has widely published in numerous peer-reviewed research journals and other four books, supervised and extensively and has delivered keynote and plenary speech at various international forums and conferences. He has conducted an <coughs> attendance course of ELT workshops and seminars within the country. He has been awarded honorary doctorate in ELT and applied linguistics by an American university due to his remarkable services in the field of ELT. He is a recipient of National Human Rights Professional Award 2016 by Ihro Islamabad Pakistan. And he is also awarded certificate of pride and honor by Arab Translator Association uh, Palestine. And also he is among 128 intellectuals, educators, and scholars from all over the world who got the certificate. And lastly, Arta has also awarded him Academic Excellence Award. He is a recipient of Global Edo Leader Award by International Internship University in India. Recently, he has been awarded gold medal in uh, recognition of his outstanding academic researching. And currently he is teaching in the Islamia University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan. Yes, sir. The floor is yours. You can start your presentation. Okay, sir. Thank you very much for introducing me so nicely. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very uh, good noon to everyone. This is Dr. Muhammad Sadar Bhatti from the Islamic University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Baha Ahmed Gilbaz for providing me this chance. Uh, to present my talk as a keynote speaker at this forum. And the topic of my presentation is Impact of Assessment Techniques on Academic Achievements of Students at BS Level and Analysis. And that is a brief sketch of my talk. Respected audience, education stands as brief that leads people out of poverty into prosperity. In order to evaluate the improvement as well as individual students' performance, the student assessment must be performed in a very technical manner, which proposes additional actions for advancement of teaching, learning, and distribute information by appropriate participants. Basically, assessment is, as we know, that education is one of the main pillars of a society. It fills empty mind with ideas and creativity without assessment, we cannot enjoy the fruits of education. In fact, assessment is the collection of information about the student's performance. It is not one-time activity, rather it is an ongoing process. It gives answer to the question of how good. It is the crucial link between learning outcomes, content, and teaching learning activities. It should determine the difference between where we are and where we want to be. It is also concerned with the whole process of education. Basically, assessments are crucial in higher education because they can inspire the learners' attitudes and behaviors towards learning. It provides them with the feedback they need about their thought strengths and weaknesses, also with an insight on how to improve in future. It is in basically a process that consists of activities used for the evaluation of the path and the limitations of students' learning besides teaching activity. In addition, taking appropriate decision for planning and effective teaching activity. Formative assessment and summative assessment are the tools which are frequently utilized for evaluating students' knowledge of different ex uh, experience of national standards. 
Actually, class four assessment is the activity of judging the quality of something. It is an integral part of instruction as it determines the whether or not the goals of education are being met. It affects decisions about grades, placement, advancement, instructional needs, curriculum, and in some cases, funding. Classroom assessment plays a vital role in the field of education. The, ter the term assessment generally refers to the test and determination. Through classroom activities and evaluation, a teacher can improve students' learning and his classroom instruction as well. If we talk about the academic achievement, academic achievement is defined as the extent to which educational goals and objectives are achieved. Usually, it's the measure by exams, tests, and continuous assessment. So, academic achievement and assessment are two major indicators of quality education. Now, I would like to move towards the academic analysis. Basically, academic achievement analysis offers timely information that could be useful to know the successes and the challenges that are found in the learning of the contents of the areas evaluated and contributing to the development or the improvement of the educational system. It is a critical criterion for determining students' academic accomplishment in higher education because the advancement of students uh, in higher education focuses mainly on assessment, which has been the heart of higher education. If we talk about the importance of the assessment, basically it makes teaching and learning process active. It provides feedback to the teacher and the taught. It provides guidelines to the students. It provides remedial instructions to the students. And it judges the worth of the learning. And it makes learning easier. And now I would like to move towards the significance of the study. That will be helpful for the students, for the teacher, and definitely will improve the quality of education. The objectives of my study were, the major objective of the present study was to explore the impact of different assessment techniques on the academic achievement score of the university students. My research questions were, what type of assessment techniques are being used by university teachers, and what is their impact on students' academic achievement at BS level? Formative assessment is the assessment for learning, while summative assessment is the assessment of learning. So assessment of and for student learning is the process of gathering and analyzing information and evidence about what students know, can do, and understand. It is part of an ongoing, ongoing cycle that includes planning, documenting, and evaluating students' learning. Now I would like to move towards the research methodology. The study was quantitative in, and descriptive in nature. All the students enrolled in BS Park studies in the Islamic University of Bhavanpur, Pakistan, were the population of the study. The simple random sampling technique was used to draw the representative sample. 50 students belonging to the second semester were collected as a sample. Two research tools were developed for the collection of the required data. B, standard deviation and T test were used. And that is the graphic description of my talk. Dear audience, basically, female students have performed better as compared with the male students. So the research question, what is the impact of assessment techniques on students' academic achievement, answered in positive. And that is my data analysis. Now I would like to move towards the findings. The results revealed that there was a strong and significant impact of students' assessment techniques on the academic achievement of scores of the students. The male students performed better in numerical concepts as well as viva exam, while the female students performed better in theoretical reasoning. The mean achievement score revealed a higher performance in theoretical reasoning and lower in the viva exam. All the students showed their interest in their classroom. Now, I just want to give you the text of my talk. Classroom assessment affects people in different manners. Students are able to evaluate what is important for them to learn. Classroom assessment affects students' motivation, and as a result, students are able to for self-assessment. It encourages knowledge, skill, and attitude development in the student. We can say that classroom assessment is the most important component that influences the teaching and learning process. So assessment gives 
effective feedback, it is more effective if it gives feedback to both the students and the teacher. It focuses people's attention towards their progress in the development and mastery of the skill. This will enhance efficiency of the student towards the educational goal. Different type of assessment has its own work, but most important are formative and assessment, subjective assessment that gives feedback to the students and the teachers. Now, in the end, I would like to give you some suggestions and the recommendation. Dear audience, assessment should be regarded as the key professional skill for the teacher. It should be the part of effective planning of the teaching and the learning. It should be uh, recognized as central to the classroom practice. It should focus on how students learn. It should provide constructive guidance, guidance about how to improve and take account of the importance of learner in motivation. So, if we want our students to be Aristotle, we need to be planned. A teacher must have to perform both summative and the formative assessment as needed. So, institutes have, must have to provide facilities like printing, composing to teachers to make assessment instru instrument actively. So, these were some differences from which I got the help. And thanks for joining me. And uh, any question, please? That's all from my side there. Thank you so much, Professor, for your presentation. Any question? You're welcome, sir. <laughs> okay, I guess no question. Professor, you can share your PPT presentation on chat box. Okay. That will be so, more okay. beneficial for participants. Thank you. Thank okay, you. dear participants, uh, we request everyone that could you write your hall and session number in front of your name? We will direct you to the halls in three minutes. Or you can passing the halls where I click breakout room section on the below of the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm.